war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing, according to Max Verstappen, and Sainz is looking to sizzle off the start line once again. I'm Ollie Wilson for GP Fans, and this is the news in Formula One this Sunday. Remember to hit that subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of your F1 news. Now, let's dive straight into it. Max Verstappen has insisted he is not at war with Lewis Hamilton, despite the hard-fought battle between the pair for this year's World Championship title. The Dutchman trails the Mercedes driver by 14 points after losing out in a strategic Spanish Grand Prix to go 3-1 down in race victories across the opening four races. However, when asked if he was ready for war with Hamilton, Verstappen said, Let's not use the term war. Let's just keep it competitive in a nice way. But of course, we will fight hard, but they will as well, which is good for the sport. But I like it too. In each of the first four races, Verstappen and Hamilton have come close to contact in side-by-side -side battles. Commenting on the emotion of finally being in a competitive position against Mercedes, Verstappen added, I think it's exciting, and of course I'm looking forward to every single battle out there. With the championship fight, we finally have a car that is capable of having decent results every single weekend. If that is fighting for first or third or second, it's going to depend on the track, which is a bit difficult to project at the moment, but it is really enjoyable, and I think so far this year, we have had some good results. Also, from my side, I am happy, but things can always go better on both sides, from the car and from myself. It is never good enough, even if I would have won all the races so far. Switching gears for just a moment and looking across to the United States and IndyCar as Renus VK won the GMR Grand Prix in the IndyCar series last night. He took his first ever class victory at the iconic Indianapolis Motor Speedway and made history. Renus had a strong qualifying on Friday and therefore started Saturday evening's race from seventh place. The Dutchman began well and was soon working his way through the field. After his first pit stop, Renus even managed to get up alongside Roman Grosjean competing for first place after Grosjean started on pole. Although Grosjean was strong, in the end he couldn't keep up with VK's pace, and so the 20-year-old managed to take his first ever victory in IndyCar. What makes this win even more special for the Netherlands is the fact it was achieved exactly five years after Max Verstappen's first ever Formula One victory. Renus, obviously a driver to keep an eye on, for the future. Carlos Sainz has outlined that his start line procedure and qualifying performances are areas which need improvement in order to gain parity with Ferrari teammate Charles Leclerc. The Spanish driver was renowned for his lightning pace launches during his time with McLaren, but has so far found his form difficult to replicate for the Scuderia since his winter switch. When asked why this was the case, Sainz replied, I went through the data analysis with my engineers trying to understand what I could have done better. What is clear is that I still need to get a bit better and a bit more confidence with the start system and the way we operate to get that perfect launch and that perfect first 100 meters. Commenting on his recent poor start at his home Grand Prix, he added, I don't think that was the main limitation. I think the main limitation was a bit the positioning after that, getting in and out of the slipstream and then being boxed in by Alpine's Esteban Ocon into turn one and losing quite a lot of positions to the cars around the outside. With the Monaco Grand Prix next on the calendar, Sainz also pointed to the importance of improving the consistency of his qualifying performances in order to join Leclerc in the top five. It's a combination of factors to get a perfect result like Charles did, said Sainz. You need to first of all put the weekend completely together. It comes to a good qualifying, to make the lap in Q3. If I would have nailed it, I would have started further ahead and there would not have been that issue. Then nailing the start. This is what I was particularly good at with McLaren, putting the whole weekend together and this is what I need to keep improving as the races go on with this team. So can Carlos find that kick in qualifying for Ferrari and is Renus VK the next Max Verstappen of IndyCar? Let us know in the comments section below and hit the subscribe button as well to continue the ride along with us here at GP Fans.